everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my continued coverage of the BlackBerry Playbook. Now this is the 16GB version here and in this video I'm going to be covering off email and also the web browser. Now one of the biggest criticisms of the Playbook is it doesn't come with a native email application installed. They're still working on that. So for the time being we have to use these shortcuts here. We get things like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail etc and when we launch these instead of it being an application it's just a shortcut to the web browser now I've previously logged into my Gmail account here so when it's loaded up we should be presented with our email list on the left hand column here and the body of the emails here so this is just a standard web browser nothing more nothing less and I'm not really going to say any more on the subject big disappointment and I'll just be looking forward to the update that BlackBerry bring out which will bring a native email application to the device. So moving swiftly on, let's get rid of that panel and we will shrink down back to our sort of multitasking area here. I'm going to actually get rid of this, even though I'm going to launch the browser again, I just wanted to show you how the browser actually launches. So let's tap the browser icon here and a new window comes up with shortcuts or bookmarks to some of the favorite sites. Now I've not added any myself. I'm gonna show you how you do that within this video. So we can tap on one of these and it will take us straight to perhaps Google. Or we can tap in the top bar here and type in another e uh, website address. So let's go to the Geekanoids website. Nice keyboard, nice to type on actually apart from the spacebar, a little bit small in the middle there. Let's tap go and this takes us to the Geekanoids website and in this window we can obviously, it's still loading but we can obviously scroll up and down. A little bit of checkerboarding as you can see there which is a bit of a shame that improves as the page loads. We can double tap no we can't, we can pinch to zoom so it doesn't support double tap, it does there there you go, so it's supporting double tap now, but not to zoom in, so that's weird. So we can pinch to zoom, to zoom in, we can pinch to zoom, to zoom out, and we can double tap to zoom out as well, but not to zoom in, so that's really strange. Anyway, we've got some YouTube videos here that are already on the website, and let's scroll down to perhaps this one here, and we tap play and it does actually play in the browser so excellent result there means we can watch YouTube videos and embedded content within the browser without having to go out to an external application so let's tap pause on that and let's say we want to add a bookmark to this particular page well let's tap on here say add to bookmarks and then when I close this window down it should go back to our bookmarks and you can see here we've got the Geekanoids reviews page actually added to our bookmarks. So let's open that one up again and then we're going to open up a second page show you how the tabs work. You do this by tapping the icon top left and here we can create a new tab and we can type into here perhaps and tap go and then we can uh, navigate this website, this is the Apple website again very nice to scroll around still we get this checkerboard in as it's loading but generally a very nice sort of browsing experience responsive on the pinch to zoom as well so that's really nice and going between tabs tap on here tap on the one we want to go to again very quick to do that and we'll do it again back to the Apple website. Whilst we're in this view we can actually go to downloads or options. If we tap on options it shows us some general options for the browser. Let's go back and if we swipe down it should bring up that same area. So we can either uh, invoke that by tapping the icon or by swiping down on the touch sensitive area above the screen. So a nice browsing experience as I say the actual um, email experience on here is very bad at the moment it will improve with the update the browsing experience is really nice 
please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel. Got plenty more coverage coming on the Blackberry Playbook. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook, and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.